Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Halos and Heroes. So, I'm being told that the drum cover that I did was not the correct one. Everyone wanted to see My Life Would Suck, uh, Corbus version, and my reaction to it. Um, this is uh, 10 year old drummer Paulina from Mexico, My Life Would Suck, Corbus version. Um, I do apologize for any confusion. As I said, I'm only one guy and I'm doing the best I can. I'm working on the subtitle issue. Um, it's, yeah, I, I've got the subtitles now turned on, but for some reason they're still not showing up. So I apologize for all the confusion, everybody, but you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. This is all still kind of new to me too, so thank you for bearing with me. But without further delay. She's a lot more animated in this one, and it's a little more tech. It's a lot more technical. Um, you can also see she's got a more expanded drum rig here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely digging it so far, and I don't. I like this so far. This is really good. So I like the fact that she's showcasing more of the drum kit, um, the toms and the cymbals. Um, it's not just the snare fill that she was using. Not to say she was just sticking to snare on the first one because she did hit the kit towards the end, but this one throughout has been a showcase of the drum rack and what she has available at her, at her use. So, I'm really I really appreciate the fact that you know she's ex this this video is an expansion of what I watched the first time. And again guys, if I don't watch the right version or I don't watch the one you wanted to see, just understand that the way that I went about compiling my list to react to these was chronological. So for instance, the Muse cover um, I did see the Lyceo cover from seven years ago, but there was a nine-year-old version that chronologically fit with what I was trying to accomplish. Um, I will, at some point, break down. Um, I've got I've got Lyceo written down. Um, and it may ju it may end up being that I rehash some of what I've already seen, but if I if I want to react to Lyceo, then I'm not going to react to an individual song from it. I'll react to an older cover of it, and then I'll react to like the full live version over a two part segment or something along those lines. But that way I'm not repeating what I've already re reacted to. And you guys still get to see the reactions. Um, but let me know if that works for you. Uh, this is for you guys. And I'm, I'm finding a band that I never in a million years would have found on my own. So I, I thank you guys.
I like to see that right there where she goes into the chorus. This is all very well done. Very well done. Um, and again, this is a much better showcase of her drumming talent than the one that I reacted to initially. So I thank you guys for coming back at me and saying, hey, try this one. Um, because I will. If, if what I provide isn't what you guys wanted to hear, let me know and I will make it up to you. That was that was a really good fill right there, and it, this definitely showcases her range as far as a drummer. Um, she's on beat, um, very technically sound. Now again, I'm I am not a professional and don't claim to be, but what I'm seeing um, overall, this is very impressive, and. I, I like the use uh, and the full range of the kit that she has going here. It's so dysfunctional. I really shouldn't miss you, but I can't let you go. Great use of the double bass pedal there. Um, and again, the when taken in individual segments, where if I'm just analyzing the bass drum performance or just analyzing the, the top half percussive, what I'm what I would fail to take into consideration is that these are all happening at the same time. So you've got the, you know, the rhythm going on up here and the rhythm that you're doing with your hands as you're going across all the different drums up here. You're also having to coordinate a di sometimes a an offbeat rhythm with your feet so it's like hands are going one and two and three and four and and your feet are going and and one or and two and three and four and two one and yeah and one and two and three and four so your your hands are one and two and and your feet are and two and three and four and i mean just trying to explain it probably confuses everybody but when you can when you can proficiently do polyrhythmic drumming that is an art form all of its own it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you are playing being able to maintain multiple rhythms at the same time utilizing only different sections of your body be it your feet or your hands is a very impressive talent i do like the fact that she's got that double kick going and sound wise well done well engineered um let's go ahead and wrap this up i'm sorry i'm talking so much
Okay, I had to go back. As you saw, I had to pause and go back on that one. That's why you guys wanted me to see this one. I don't even think I have words to describe the crossovers and the polyrhythm between the double bass, the snare, the toms, the crossovers with the cymbals, back across. There are adult drummers that I have met that would probably retire their sticks watching this. That ending was incredible. Well, thank you guys for being here. This was definitely worth the watch. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions or if you don't feel I went with the right version or whatever the case, let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but as always, Halos and Heroes, I love you. You're not alone. I care.